Hey, what is up, you guys? And this is the Team Air Plays coming at you with my first war review from King of Mists, aka KOM. So, I wasn't really paying attention to war because I'm not in it, because obviously I'm getting punished for leaving the clan before. I, I actually don't remember why I left the clan. It was a really fun clan. It doesn't really make sense why I left. But it's stupid, and I'm getting punished for it because. It was stupid. <laughs> so, let's just see who it's against. Because I don't even know that. I wasn't paying attention at all. Um. Oh. Okay. So. 50. Boca. 100. Amor. Don't know what that is. Like Spanish or maybe. And we're absolutely destroying this war. Two town. Or two level 8 town. Clans. And look at that. That guy's. We have very few people, and these are just Town Hall 8s, and we still have some attacks from our 9s. Like, Cyclone, and then Isaac is probably our best Town Hall 8 by far, and he could take one of these guys. So we're going to have a perfect war, you guys. So that's nice. Um, I'm going to show you this attack. It's a Govajo. Yeah, Govajo. That is. Mm -hmm. So, he's dropping in the Wiz, the CC Golem. He's going to try to take in, and he's not going to try to get a lure on the CC. He's just going to have the Archer Queen take care of it with some wizard backup. So he gets the funnel going, sends in the everything. About to send in, after he takes down this cannon, I think, yep. Yeah, he sends in all the Volks. I personally, if I was a Town Hall 9, well, I'm not a Town Hall 9, so I don't know much. But when I'm a Town Hall 8 and I'm using Govaho, I usually bring um, Valkyries in the CC, but... Well, well, what's really nice about this attack is the Valkyries never got targeted by the defending CC. So, because they were so fast, they just ran right underneath and they all targeted the queen and the king, which is good. And the golems. Because they're slow. So, starts taking this up. Starts using, oh, well, we missed the hogs from the top, but he sent them in to take care of that while they're all distracted over here. And, but they're going to get melted by this, um, wizard tower. If they just would have swung over... If they all would have went on that wizard tower, he'd probably still have the hogs alive, but no. It's okay, though. He still has three stars, and it's a really nice attack. Um, yeah. So, just about clean up now, really. Um, he's just going to leave it to the heroes to clean it up. Pretty nice attack. So, next, we're going to go and watch a Goeva, I want to say, from Driz. Yeah, Goeva. So, again, Drizzy, and this one's a circular base, but if you notice, with most circular bases, they space out all their buildings, so you can't vault it, but this guy was really stupid, decided to put everything right next to each other, you see, and would just melt those buildings two at a time, two or three at a time, so it's not a smart base choice if you're going to go for a circle base. So, the wall breakers make it all the way into the second inner circle which is really nice drops the jump spell he thought he was gonna have to jump two pairs of walls he doesn't so then all the Valks start heading into the middle rages them up drops a heal starts taking everything out this is not by any means a well upgraded town hall 9 base but it was still an impressive attack so he's just about clean up here he has plenty of cleanup. He still has the queen's ability at full health. So, yeah. It's pretty much just cleanup after here. Nice attack, Driz. Next, we're going to be watching this epic raid from... No. Epic raid from Isaac. And he's going to be taking on a Town Hall 9. And he's only a Town Hall 8. So, it's pretty cool. It's not a well-upgraded base, but it still has the... Expos, which are always tough to take on with any Town Hall 8 strategy. Good thing all his troops are max, which is a helpful, very helpful. Double poison. The level 4 poison spell is nice against this CC. So, I'm gonna take out the CC, get a nice lure. He can't be like the Town Hall 9s. Oh, and those troll Teslas. 
I don't know why he doesn't drop the wall breakers right now. But, oh, yep, there he goes. So this troll Tesla has trolled him good. Now he's going to start dropping in the Valk's bottom. I don't know what he's doing, actually. Um, well, it's still a nice attack, but, oh, yeah, here we go. He's dropping in the Valk's. Why is he drop spacing him out like that? I don't know. It's a weird attack strategy, but it works. On it. It's really good. So I don't know what he's... Maybe he's going to try to attack from the top, too? No. Okay. Well, it was just weird Valk placement. Maybe surgical Valks is what you'd call it. But so the distract... The... They want... All the defenses would be distracted with the last batch, I guess. So... The first batch is still circling over here by these mortars. Takes down the king. And now this expo is the last real problem, but it's not even that good. Well, it's definitely good against a tunnel 8, but it's pretty low level. It's a level 1, I want to say. So he takes that down. Wait, he... Oh, those walks just ran right by it. What the heck? Yeah, you saw that. They ran right by it. Okay. So, well, they take that down, and now the only real work... He still has a heal spell, too. So there's not really a worry here, but the bomb tower is always annoying. It's well, I hog. Usually I do mass hogs, and I hate the bomb tower. Because it pretty much lures your... You have to use your heal every time. But I don't think it's that bad with... Yeah, it's definitely not bad. Just watch their house. It's not even going to go down. Yeah. So, three star. Epic three star from Isaac. And... I think I'm going to be ending the actual part of the video here. But I'm just going to be leaving some cool music... And hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Peace.